guys. Well, we're in the midst of National Poetry Month, so I connected with a local who's always had a passion for the genre, but took it to another level after his military service ended. How I became a poet, I started when I was 15 years old. Uh, I, at 15, I would write poems in, in high school. Uh, you know, just writing for the ladies, writing, just writing because I heard songs. And, you know, that's what drew me to the, the genre of poetry. And so, you know, that's, that's, it, became a, it became a love, a passion. I can relate Aaron Woodson. That's how my lyrical skills were born. I've never been published. Aaron shares how his passion evolved from writing to publishing. It was a dream. Um, I, you know, I had seen people like, you know, the great legendary uh, Maya Angelou and Langston Hughes. Uh, you know, those guys, those, those people paved the way for people like me and other poets to do what we do. And, uh, you know, I was in the military in 2001 in the uh, United States Air Force and I started writing. He shares a little bit about his first book. The Face of Expression is basically uh, like, the, like the title, it suggests, you know, facial expressions, you know? <laughs> the first thing you meet when you first meet, when you first meet someone, you know, you, you notice their, their countenance, their, their face, faces of expression. It kind of reveals what's going on with them, you know? It kind of it tells on you, you know? And uh, I, I wanted to speak to that, because, you know, what's, what goes on inside makes its way to the surface. Frizella Taylor is a local publisher who launched her company kind of out of necessity since large publishing houses wouldn't give her a shot. Early 1995 is when I wrote my first book and I couldn't find a publishing company who could publish that book for me. So fast forward when I moved to Jacksonville in 2015, I really felt compelled of the Lord to finish writing and publishing that book. And I did, and I published a book every year since I've been here in 2015 and in 2021. And during COVID, yep. I think I did like four or five books. <laughs> <laughs> so my whole uh, purpose is to help people like Aaron, who are inspiring to publish their books, but can't get connected with a large company because they can't afford it. Taylor Made Publishing is all about personal connections with the author to ensure the author's true voice will be heard, which is paramount with how the poetry genre is sold and received. Poetry, to be honest with you, it's a, a lot. You know, it's a it's small. It's a small genre compared to other other genres, and it's often underappreciated <laughs> in, in most circles. Um, but there is a market for it. Um, yes. There is, you know, people are drawn to it. Um, you know, when you when you actually look at anything around you, like uh, music, for example, poetry definitely comes from the fabric of music. Poetry is everywhere, but don't think your writings must rhyme to be considered poetry. You know, poetry has, it, it could take on its own uh, form of its own. Uh, I know a lot of people tend to um, put, put a, a label on, on how poetry should be written, but poetry, poetry could be, you know, free, freestyling, it could be prose, haiku, um, it could be a limerick. Um, That's what I like about poetry. Yeah. It gives you an opportunity to express yourself differently from someone else who has uh, written a poetry book. Because mm -hmm. I've published a couple of poetry books, mm -hmm. and his is totally different from the other ones. And even between the two that he has, the style is different. It gives a person an opportunity to express themselves, so yes. it becomes very personal and personable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Noted. Aaron. Send our viewers home with a little love. Oh, but first, I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. Writing this letter is so personal for me. You're my why. The reason I push myself to be successful. But I realize now that I'm already successful because you prepared me very well to take on this world. Considered me inspired by Aaron, my book, The Rantings of a Madman, will be out in the fall of 2023. Just kidding. Uh, if you'd like to see Aaron, he's actually going to be reading some of his works at James Weldon Johnson Park here in about an hour. And if you'd like to find out more about his works, go to AaronWoodson.com. Eden?